Lake Marina. <coughs> this is camping at the campground. It's about 7.15. And this is where we camped last night. This campground. Good morning. It's about 7.30. Um, just left Lake Marina uh, State Park or campground. Uh, I didn't, I was so tired when I came down from uh, the top of Hauser yesterday that I didn't videotape anything else. I uh, went down a campsite. They have a nice area for PCT hikers. Um, Five dollars a night to camp. And then they have hot showers. So I went and set up my camp. Had a nice long hot shower. Felt amazing. And then walked down to the malt shop. Which is probably about a third of a mile, I think, down the road. And had some pizza and a milkshake. And uh, had a cigarette since I hadn't had a cigarette since uh, yesterday morning. Um, actually, the one that I was in my in my video in my tent, uh, that was my last cigarette for the day. Um, so yeah, that was good incentive to get to Lake Marina. But anyway, a uh, great little malt shop, convenience store. People are really nice there. Great pizza. Um, slept good. Went to bed early. Uh, I thought I was going to have a hard time getting used to getting up early and going to bed early, but I've been asleep two nights in a row. Actually, three nights in a row by 9 o'clock. So I'm usually in my tent by like 5.36 and then uh, edited a video last night and uh, sleep by 9 awake at 4.30 okay so anyway um, the campground has contaminated water so I am uh, it's got E. coli in it so they say you could boil it or filter it but the malt shop down here has you could buy a gallon of water for 35 cents so to me it's worth it to hike back down here and get some water that I don't have to worry about and uh, I need a few things from the store that I didn't get last night and they have Wi-Fi down here I was able to get some for a while yesterday for Verizon I guess the campground you can get AT&T but there's no service for Verizon at the campground, so I'm gonna down here, come down here, and charge up my battery bank. Um, hopefully, make a few phone calls. Since um, I have some things I need mailed, so hopefully I can get a hold of somebody and get some service this morning and download my video that I made yesterday. All right, so it is just about one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I have been at uh, the malt shop in Lake Marina since eight o'clock this morning, uploading my video uh, from day one and two. It literally took five hours, I just got done to upload my video with Wi-Fi. So that was crazy. Um, it was great though. I got to meet a whole bunch of hikers and just hanging out. Had some french fries, you know, charged my stuff. Uh, great people that 
over there. They're really nice, really helpful. You know, I bought a few things I needed. Um, great food. And I've uh, just been sitting outside and meeting all the people coming in off of Hauser. Uh, so it's been a good day and I feel rested. Um, I'm not trying to go very far today anyway. I'm just going to try to go to Boulder Oaks, which is about six miles. Um, so I should be there by, I don't know, 3 o'clock, 3.30 if I am feeling really good and feel like that's not enough I'll go a little farther but my plan is to do let's just get the boulder oaks today and then uh, tomorrow I will uh, try to go I think another 13 miles to get to uh, I want to get to mile like 39 I think there's a campground there. So then I'm only uh, two miles out of Mount Laguna because I have to be there uh, at one o'clock for a phone call on, on Monday. So that way I can get in there in the morning, hopefully take a shower, um, eat some breakfast and uh, get my resupply box and do my phone call and then I can head out um, late afternoon. I probably won't get very far but uh, yeah so I think this will be fine. Uh, Boulder Oak seems like a, a good place to stay tonight and um, I feel rested. Uh, it's a little cooler today. The wind's blowing so it's not too bad. And uh, it was really hard to sit for five hours though wait for that video to upload but I I got to talk to a couple people and do some emails and take care of some other stuff too I needed to this morning because I haven't had Wi-Fi and I probably won't have service again um, I'm guessing till I get to Mount the Laguna but I'm not sure so yeah I'm just Right now, I'm walking down the road, back down to the uh, Lake Marina campground, and and then uh, the trail heads up here on the other side of the campground. All right, this is the trail coming out of uh, Lake Marina. Um, looks like they go this way. It's not marked very well, but. Oh, all right, on my way. Well, it's good to get that first portion done. And uh, um, I did see a snake yesterday. Uh, I had videotaped it, but that's one of the ones that got deleted. Actually, day before yesterday it was my first day on the trail. It looked like Kind of like a gardener, gardener's steak, but had a yellow stripe down the length of it. So I'm not sure what it was. I'll have to look it up. But uh, yeah, I heard one guy talking about he almost stepped on a rattlesnake yesterday. So I haven't seen any yet. Uh, sure don't want to step on one. I think I've definitely been very cautious though. I ping my trekking poles on every rock, big rock, that where they'd have any place to hide as I go by. So if I can't see around the corner of one, um, yeah. And there's lots of places for them to hide along the trail. A lot of it isn't wide like this so far. A lot of it. There's big piles of boulders with lots of places to hide in them. And then sometimes there's a bunch of brush right in front of them, right up along both sides of the trail. So your legs are rubbing on the brush as you go by. Um, yeah. Whew. Now 
already had the Chandelier and take off my t-shirt underneath my sun shirt got warm as soon as I started walking so at least there's a breeze today so it's pretty good can't complain This one goes like a road that goes the other way. Yeah, so I'm just doing six miles. Shouldn't be too bad. I haven't really looked at the elevation changes. I don't think there's anything major up to that point. I think there might be one creek crossing where I'm going to take my shoes off, get my feet wet. But that'll probably feel good. Good dude to suck my feet. Ooh, I think I've gone about, I don't know, two miles. And this beautiful little valley here. I think Lake Moraine is back over across that hilltop. This is the trail I just came up. And I'm going up. Looks like up and over this ridge here. Um, it's not too high. I think I've got to climb like three, 300 feet, 400 feet. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. So anyway, I ended up putting my sun umbrella up, which helped cool me down considerably. It is toasty out here so it doesn't take much for me to get overheated I'm just not used to this so a um, little bit of a breeze though which is nice that helps um, definitely the Sun umbrella uh, just getting the Sun off my head um, seems to help considerably all right I've stopped again I know I just stopped uh, just got up a little bit higher and you can see Lake Morena. That's where I was at, I don't know, an hour ago. So, hiked up here from there. You kind of see the trail down there a little bit. Yeah, beautiful. And heading up this way. It's kind of, I don't think it's going to go over this ridge top. It looks like it just kind of goes around it, maybe. But I'm not sure. I wanted to take a picture back here on the top this ridge. It was an amazing view, but the wind was blowing so hard it's turning my umbrella inside out. So I had to hang on to my umbrella. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful up here though. Just excited to see what I'll see next. It's like every time you come around a corner, you know, it's something new and these are all places I've never been, so I'm loving it. It's like, this is amazing. I'm still, uh, I realize I'm like banging on every rock as I go by because I'm just waiting for a rattlesnake to be on the other side. There's just all these huge boulders all along the trail, but um, anyway, I'm a little paranoid, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Yeah, I'm liking this though. This is great. I think I got some downhill now for a little bit. Uh, yeah, feeling good though. Feeling uh, grateful that I am not, uh, you know, hurting bad. I mean, other than my blister, I feel pretty good. I don't even, my pack isn't bothering me at all. It doesn't feel heavy today even to me, which is great. Um, but I mean, I've already ran into a few people, you know, one lady hurt her hip, uh, ran into a guy yesterday who's having to camp an extra night because he's got chafing so bad, which I've heard is really painful. You know, I just, that's why I'm just trying to take it slow, take it easy, listen to my body, not overdo it. And it's like every night when I go to bed, I hurt so bad, like my whole body hurts all over. And I'm pretty sure like I'm not gonna be able to get up the next day and hike but then when I wake up in the morning um, I feel fine 
once I get out of bed and start moving, it's like I'm feeling okay. So I'm really happy for that. That I, you know, and I'm not doing like huge miles, but that's probably why I can still get up and move every day. So anyway, I'm just loving it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I got my first trail magic yesterday too when I got to the bottom of uh, that uh, Hauser doing Hauser coming down into Lake Morena uh, Magic Mike was his name was sitting there in his truck and uh, with a cooler of sodas and beer you know, all in ice, like he knew that's what I needed, and uh, which I did. Um, so yeah, I had an ice cold Dr. Pepper and sat and talked with him. So thank you, Magic Mike. Uh, it was awesome. So a lot of great people. There was a guy at the store today. Um, I also met a guy who gave me his card. Uh, let's see, Cowboy Dave. Who gives rides um, just got a call him all of section a he said he goes all the way to Warner Springs so <laughs> he'll pick you up take you where you need to go you know so that's good to know and there was just another guy you know coming up to the malt shop and offering people rides back to the campground so they didn't have to walk and I ended up walking so I was downloading my video but you know, just a lot of really nice people so far. You know, and it, it's great. And I uh, forgot to mention yesterday to um, Cindy that I had met down at Hauser Creek uh, gave me a flash drive that I can plug into my phone to uh, save my videos on. So thank you, Cindy. Um, that was really nice. I need to download an app on my phone to use it, but uh, after losing my videos from the first day, um, it's going to come in really handy. So, yeah, I'm really loving it out here. And, you know, I feel like I'm getting a system down as far as uh, camping. Um, you know, just filtering my water, setting up my camp. Um, just, whoa, <laughs> that wind is whipping my umbrella around. Um, but getting used to, you know, just the little things like making coffee in the morning, brushing your teeth, you know, storing your garbage, getting rid of your garbage, you know, take showers. Uh, I have one little tiny washcloth to dry off with. But it worked. Um, getting up in the morning and putting damp clothes on, that's the hard part. Getting out of my sleep clothes and putting on. Uh, it's been cold at night, even though it's warm during the day. It's been down in the 30s um, at night. But I've been fine. I've been warm enough sleeping. It's just in the morning, like right around between 4 and 5. Seems like it's the coldest. Um, right when you need to get up and uh, the, the ground was had frost on it this morning and you know the tents covered in condensation everything's a little damp um, you know but just I feel like it's doable for me it's not like miserable there's moments you know where it's inconvenient or uncomfortable but you just get up and start moving warm you know so um it just take it takes a little adjusting you know to this kind of lifestyle but so far so good um i was grateful to get a shower yesterday uh but i have been in these same clothes since monday and it's saturday so um and i don't think I don't think I'm going to be able to do laundry probably until I get to Julian. So, yeah, I'm going to smell good and ripe by then. Uh, yeah, 
but just having a shower made a huge difference. So I was grateful for that. And I can take a shower at Mount Laguna too. So anyway, going up a hill. So I'm gonna stop. It's really bright out here. So I hope you can see this, but again, I got to a spot uh, overlooking Lake Morena down there. So you could see um, how far I came. I came up out this way and then um, around this ridge here. This is the trail I just came down, but yeah, that's how far I've made it. Um, I think I've gone about three, three and a half miles. Maybe a little bit farther, not sure, but yeah, it's beautiful up here. Had cell phone service just for a second and then it was gone again. I just had to stop and take a picture of this rock. I don't know if you can see it, I'm kind of close, but look, it's just like split in half crazy yeah pretty cool so I'm into a new valley now um, yeah big old meadow down here and it's like a highway over there but there's a road right down here you can't see it very well from where I'm at but I'm thinking Boulder Oaks is right down here at the bottom somewhere so anyway I got these switchbacks going downhill and I don't have too much more to do today probably another mile and a half and I'll be done for the day all right just came up to this underpass here I uh, just ran into couple guys right back here who are all dressed in camo with rifles and are hunting turkeys. And I was like, really? I had no idea there was turkeys around here. Kind of caught me off guard a little bit, seeing a couple guys in camo out here, but I guess that's probably not unusual. All right, okay, first graffiti on the trail. Huh, all right. Ooh. Apparently I go this way. Another PCT sign. Oh, I see another hiker, I think. Or border patrol, actually I think it's border patrol. Maybe it's just people. Oh, that's some fancy graffiti there. Hmm. I'm guessing some of these might be some gang signs, but I don't know. I know nothing. Alright. This is my first creek crossing. Easy. Do I want to get my feet shoes wet or not? All right. So I'm on my way to uh, Boulder Oaks. Uh, I just had my fir first creek crossing, and uh, it was really shallow, but so I decided to take my shoes off so I wouldn't get them wet since I already have a blister on my foot. Um, I heard I have another one up here though. I don't know if it's before Boulder Oaks or after, but yeah, it's beautiful right here. It's just been real grassy and green and big old oak trees and um, yeah, it's feeling really good. Uh, took my zip offs down there, so now I got my shorts on and it feels so much cooler. It's about, I don't know, probably four o'clock though, so it's starting to cool off a little bit just right but I met some nice people down playing in the creek a couple uh, three adults and like five kids and um, they told me it's supposed to get the next two days is supposed to get hot 
like it's supposed to go up like 10 degrees for I think Sunday and Monday and then Tuesday apparently it's supposed to rain so they were asking me if I was prepared for rain and actually rain doesn't sound so bad about now so um, yeah they had a lot of questions for me so it was kind of cool and nice people but the creek felt awesome on my feet I wish I had more time I would have just stayed there and soak my feet for a while but it's starting to get late and I think I only have about a little over a mile to go but I want to make sure I get there in time to be able to set up before it gets dark because my only light is a headlamp so uh, I don't really want to have to set up camp in the dark so anyway I'm gonna flip this around so you can see the view yeah so I'm just in this valley here uh, I guess the creek must go off this way um, and loop around probably where all those trees are and then back I guess it comes across the trail again so and there's a road right over here um, but yeah this part's been nice it's just grass on, on most of it some of this brush but uh, the trail is sand which is feels awesome on my feet uh, my blister tape came off when I took my socks and shoes off across the creek so um, it's all right though it's really not feeling too bad just gonna have to deal with it yeah so I, I hate to hear that it's gonna be hotter tomorrow but because tomorrow I'm gonna try to do like 13 miles, 14 miles. Um, but if I start early, I can get a lot of those out done before the heat of the day. That's my plan. Since I've had an easy day today and only hiked half the day, um, I think I should feel pretty good when I get up. And I feel like I'm getting stronger every day. And I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem tomorrow. So, uh, I wish I would have got a full day in today. But, you know, maybe I needed the rest. So, I'm not going to complain. Alright. Talk to you when I get to Boulder Oaks. Alright. So, this is Cottonwood Creek. I just walked across it in my shoes. I probably should have taken them off, but I'm almost to camp. I only got like a half a mile, so I think I have time to dry them out. Um, and I have another pair of socks, so not too worried about it. Felt good on my feet, but yeah, it takes too much time taking my shoes off and on. So anyway, heading up here, I got I think half a mile until I get to Boulder Creek or Boulder Oaks. I made it to Boulder Oaks Campground. This is the entrance. And they have all these horse corrals. Kind of cool. <coughs> so people that, um, oh, I just seen a squirrel or something. I don't know if you can see it over there. Nope, oh, just took off. Uh, so that way if you have livestock, you have a place to keep them here apparently. Yeah, so I'm just going to go up here. I think there's some pit toilets. Um, and the water faucets are on. And you still have to filter your water, but this is going to be home for the night. Find myself a campsite. And what do you call it good? Oh, there's the bathroom. Garbage. I don't know if you have to pay here. I guess I'll find out. 
and then I think the road, you just keep following this road to get back out. Alright.